work with the clo closest to you. But gee, I'll tell you what. They want to see if they can get your goat. Sort of speak. They want to see if they can get you upset. But I'll tell you what. If we can keep our eyes on Jesus, if we can stay covered with the blood, and we don't let the enemy bother us, they're going to stop. Because after a while, they'll just stop. When they notice it's not taking effect, the enemy will start looking for something else. And you know what happens a lot of times? You end up heaping hot coals on their head. And every one of you have had that example where someone's treated you really bad. Instead of trying to get even with them, instead what you do is you try to show the love of Christ. And oh, man, it's tough on them up on that center. Uh, uh, Brother Lopez told me about somebody who was making fun of him at work and everything else, and God turned, a, turned the whole situation around and used the same guy, guy to, to meet the need in their family. Guy was, was joking around, said, oh, the brother's sick, and he, he's out of work. I'm going to take up an offering for him. You know, he can't work. And the Lord turned it around and used that very same guy and began to touch people to where God ended up Ending in a flood of money to meet all the needs in their family. But see, it wouldn't have happened if Brother Lopez got angry at this guy. It wouldn't have happened if he held a spirit against this guy. And that's exactly what Satan wants us to do. He wants us to get mad at everybody. He wants us to try to fight in the physical realm and strive with people. But that's not what God wants us to do. Praise be to God. We go to last scripture. Turn over to James chapter 4, verse 7, and I'm done. Now, this, this, this scripture right here is really the key scripture. All right, James chapter 4, verse 7. James chapter 4, verse 7, it says, now this, this is a key scripture right here because this is a key to having access to the whole armor of God. This is a key. having access to the weapons of warfare to stand against the enemy. And what does it say? It says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Our problem is we try to resist the devil without submitting to God first. And I read some notes just the other night and, and Mr. Hicks said, hey, the devil's going to fight us. The devil's going to come against us. We know that. I mean, in a sense, the devil's coming against us right now. He's coming against this congregation right now. He's mad because everybody here wants to go on for God and grow up and be the bride of Jesus Christ. He's mad at our pastor. But you know something? I mean, we can go outside and see some sinner on the street and give him a black eye and think that's going to do something. That's not going to do anything. It might make a big mess, especially if that guy has a gun. Well, that's exactly right, but it makes it bigger. It doesn't do any, I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to realize it doesn't do me any good to go argue with people. It doesn't do me any good to go out there and give them a piece of my dirty mind and tell them off for something they're doing. But what the Word of God says is he says, submit yourself therefore unto God. What does that mean? That means we humble ourselves. We recognize what we've been hearing in this church for years. This is a walk of humility. It's a walk of crucifixion. This is the crucified way. And we have to recognize, like we hear Sister Hicks say all the time, I am nothing. I have nothing. I can do nothing. I know nothing outside of Christ. We can't. We really can't do anything. The reason I'm standing here right now and the reason I'm breathing is because God has put the breath of life in me. And he is allowing my heart to beat right now. It's the Lord that's doing it. I'm not doing it. But sometimes we think we're doing it. And that's where some ministers miss it because they go out there, yeah, I'm going to go give the devil a hard time. Well, the Bible says that the angels don't make 
any railing accusations against the devil. It's not that we have to fear the devil, but we do have to respect our enemy. Because any time in warfare, you don't count the cost, and you don't try to figure out what your enemy's all about, you might go out there and get defeated, and that's happened many times. It's happened to Israel. They went out there in their pride, thought, well, look, we've fought all these battles before. We're not going to have a problem fighting this battle now. And what happens to them? They get defeated. And that happens to us sometimes because maybe we've been in Christ Gospel Church 20 years or 5 years or 30 years. Well, I've, had, I've fought that battle before. I know how to take care of the devil here. You just stand back. Stand back, brother. Stand back, sister. Uh, I'll, take the, I'll take this devil on. No problem. Huh? No problem. No problem. Well, that's proud, isn't it? Is that submitting to God? See, Israel won all of their battles when they submitted to the headship of God. And they went humbly before God, and they got down on their knees. And they say, God, we don't know how to go in or go out. Lord, we don't know what's going on right now, God. But you do. And Lord, we just ask right now, God, you would lead us in the right way. Lord, we ask right now that you would defeat our enemies for us. They humbled themselves before Almighty God. And what did God do? He brought the victory. And they didn't lose people in battle. And that's what God wants us to do. That's what we have to do in every situation. And I ask the Lord to help me. I mean, even in day-to-day -day life, between husband and wife and children and people at work and here in the church, many times we really proud and we say, oh, I can handle this or I can handle that. I found out without God's wisdom, without his help, I don't even know how to handle my own five-year-old boy. I can't handle my own son without wisdom from God, but he said if we'll humble ourselves and ask for wisdom, he'll give us wisdom. But the secret is humility. The secret is, you know, in this situation right now with Dr. Caucus, we want our pastor back in church. Huh? Well, I on act of humility today. You know, Brother uh, brother Renolfo brought out a chair and he said, Lord, we don't know. We don't know if it's of the devil. We don't know what the problem is. We don't know right now, but you know. And we humble ourselves and we say, Lord, please, for thy name's sake, please heal our leader. But we got to do it out of humility. Praise be to God. But he said that if we'll submit to God, then we can resist the devil and he'll flee from us. Amen? Amen. How many want to submit your lives unto God today? How many realize that we're in a warfare today and that every minute of every hour of every day, we've got to continually submit our lives unto God? Each step that we take, we need to submit ourselves unto God. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Let's stand up. Praise be to God. Father, we just thank you for your word today, God. And Lord, we know that we live in the last days. And Lord, we know, God, that if it wasn't for your word and for the truth, God, we'd be ignorant of the day and time that we live in, God. We'd be ignorant of the warfare that we're in, God. We'd be ignorant, Lord God, but Lord, you have sent your light, you have sent your word, your truth, God. Lord, that we might not be ignorant, God. And Lord, we ask today, God, Lord, that you would help us, God. Help us to humble ourselves. Help us to submit our lives unto you, God, that we can overcome in each of life's battles and every struggle in our life today, Jesus. Lord, forgive us of our pride. Forgive us, Lord God, for rushing out, God, and thinking that we can redeem ourselves, God. Lord, you're the great redeemer, God. We can do nothing without you today, God. And, Lord, I ask for our lives, God, my life, the lives of my family, my brothers and sisters here, God, that you would teach us, God, to humble ourselves, God. Lord, to take small steps, God. Lord, God, always looking to you, God, as the author and finisher of our faith, God. And, Lord, God, we know, God, that if we submit ourselves unto you, God, then, Lord, we can resist the devil, and he is going to flee because it's your word, God. Lord, we love you today, and we praise you today for your word, God. 
And we ask today, God, hallelujah, Lord God, that, Lord God, we be doers of your word and not hearers only. Thank you for your word in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We're not quite dismissed yet. Um, let's just take a minute here, and if we could, let's come up here and let's uh, uh, let's get the uh, 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 the elders, uh, the deacons, uh, the prayer leaders in the church, the musicians. I, I just would like whoever's in a, a position of leadership in the church to come up here, and then everybody else gather around behind them and lay hands on them, but I would like the, 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 the deacons and the, the, the leaders in the church to come up and lay hands on this uh, sheet that belongs to uh, um, Dr. Calkins. And again, there's nothing in this sheet in and of itself, but what's important is that we obey God. No hay nada en esta prenda de vestir. Sino okay. que es importante que nosotros and, and podamos what we want to do, obedecer a Dios. Lo que quisiera que hiciéramos hoy, que le pidamos a Dios que nos, que nos perdone de nuestra ingratitud. Primero por su palabra y su verdad. A la que tenemos acceso y por el líder que nos ha dado, Hawkins, la hermana Hawkins. That, y después de eso, Then we're going to ask the Lord to heal her and touch her, and that, that in some way, que le pidamos al Señor que la sane y la toque y después de eso, en, en un acto de fe que Dios la bendiga y la rodee. Esto no significa nada si no tenemos fe, si no está él en esto, no significa nada. Solamente debemos ser. That they did it in the, uh, the New Testament church, and we can do it now. Y lo pudieron hacer en los días del Antiguo Testamento, lo podemos hacer hoy. Shows us exactly what, what it is. Y vamos a hacerlo hasta que Dios nos muestre qué es lo que es. Si esto no funciona, vamos a continuar orando. Pero vamos a acercarnos hoy aquí. Voy a pedir a los otros líderes de la iglesia que se acerquen, que vengan aquí al frente, que toquen esta, esta sábana de la hermana Calkins y los otros líderes también, todos aquellos que tienen una posición en la iglesia. Que tomen una parte de esta prenda. Porque dice que si alguno, la Biblia que si alguno está enfermo, dice que llamemos a los ancianos y que traigamos el aceite y oremos. Dice que la oración de fe va a sanar al enfermo. Y si pudiéramos todos ir con la hermana, podríamos... Elders and, and, and quisiera que los líderes, los ancianos, pongan sus manos sobre esta pieza. Voy a pedir al resto de la iglesia que venga alrededor de ellos, alrededor de los líderes. Gloria a Dios. Y vamos a orar en este momento. Seamos sinceros, pidamos de Si hay algo que usted pueda pensar en su corazón, algún espíritu que usted haya tenido en contra de la hermana Calkins, que lo entregue al Señor y se arrepienta en esta hora. Si no sabemos y no entendamos a ella, simplemente porque no la entendamos, no quiere decir que está mal. Porque muchas veces Él la mueve a ella en maneras que nosotros no entendemos. Y algunas veces no entendemos cuando tenemos un espíritu en contra de ella. Así es que primero tenemos que pedirle perdón por nuestra ingratitud. Porque si nos podemos deshacer de la ingratitud, hay más lugar para la gratitud. Y después de eso vamos a Dale gracias por la doctora Calvin. Levantemos nuestra voz a ella. Lord, we come before you right now, Lamb of God. Oh, Jesus, we ask you to forgive us of our ingratitude for your word and your spirit. Forgive us for the ingratitude, Lord Jesus. Lord God, for the servant of God, for our pastor, God. And Lord, if there be anything in our heart, God, Lord, if there be any rebellion, if there be any, Lord, anger, God, if there be any misunderstanding, if there be anything in our heart against our pastor, God, forgive us, Lord, God, forgive us and wash out the ingratitude for our leader, God. Oh, 
Oh, forgive us of our ingratitude, Lord. Wash us of the idolatrous ingratitude, God. Cleanse our heart, God. Cleanse our wheel of the ingratitude for your word and your spirit. Cleanse us, oh God, for the ingratitude for the vessel, for the leader you've given us, God. that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Lord Jesus, you're the same Savior, the same Deliverer, the same Bridegroom, and the same Healer. Yesterday, today, and forever, Lord. And Lord God, we ask today, God, for thy name's sake, oh, for thy word's sake, oh, for the sake of the Bride's message in Redwood City, God, 
Lord, we pray right now, God, that you'd anoint, oh God. Lord, is cloth, God. And Lord, we ask for healing, God, for our pastor, God. We ask that you would bless her, God, right now, God. Lord, God, Lord Jesus, that you would bring healing in her body, soul, and spirit, God. Touch your body, touch your God, we ask in the name of Jesus. Lord God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just want to be obedient, God. Lord, we want to please you, God. Lord, if you're not in it, God, it means nothing, God. But Lord, we praise you today, God. We give you glory today, Lord. We praise you today, Lamb of God. Oh, for your anointing, for your blood, for your sin offering blood. Oh, for your trespass offering blood, for your Holborn offering blood, for your peace offering blood, for the blood, hallelujah, of your atonement and the blood of your Passover. Lord, right now we ask that you rebuke, oh God. Lord, the spirit of witchcraft, oh God, has come against our pastor, God. Oh, in the name of Yehovah, Yeshua, Mashiach, in the name of Yudhebah, hey. Oh, Lord, God, according to your word, God, you said by your stripes, by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. By Jesus' stripes, hallelujah. By his blood from his stripes, Dr. Calkins is healed, hallelujah. Lord, you said, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, Lord, that you sent your word and healed them. Oh, touch her right now, Lord. Bless her right now. Lord, put virtue back into her body, God. Raise her up, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Raise her up, Lord, and give her strength, God. Lord, take away all stress, God. Lord, take away all pain, God. We ask you to take away the fever, Lord God. Lord, we ask, God, that you would guide the hands, Lord God. Lord of the doctors, God. Lord God, so they would know exactly, God, what it is. But Lord, we ask you, God, because you're the great physician, God, to move in this situation, God. Oh, to bless in this situation, God. And we give you glory. We thank you, Lord, because you, Lord God, said that you hear our prayers. You said that my God shall supply our every need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, you supply Dr. Calkins every need according to your riches by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for our pastor. Thank you for our pastor, God. Bless her, God. Bless her, God. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord, God. Touch her right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up the tower of the name of yud heh over God. Lift up the tower of your name, God, over her. Lift up the tower of your name over God. Lift up the tower of your name over God. Lift up the tower of your name over God. Lift up the tower of your name, Lord God. You said the tower, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth into it and is safe, God. And Lord, give her a transfusion of your unbegotten blood of that unbegotten blood, Lord God, that cleanses and sanctifies all existence, God, our mortal and eternal existence, God. Put your blood upon her right now, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Send the gifts of healing of the Holy Ghost into her life right now, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
minister to our pastor. Hallelujah. 
And you know, there's so many things uh, we do need to remember. We need to commend, continue to remember Brother Leon. Sabe, que Is there anybody else that is feeling ill in your body? Recordar, orar por anybody else is sick? We need Alguien to más que esté enfermo. Alguien más que esté, se sienta mal. Hermana Lillian. Okay, praise be to God. Sister Lillian. Who else? Anyone else? Quien más? Praise be to God. Well, amen. We get ready to dismiss. We're going to pray for those who are sick in the church, okay? And I, I don't think uh, since Brother Carlos and Sister Monica have been back to church, no creo que uh, that, uh, anyone has Monica. welcomed their new baby. No sé si alguien ya le dio la bienvenida al nuevo baby, no han estado aquí en la iglesia. There's been so much going on. The thing we need to do, I know as soon as Dr. Hawkins is back, then we'll have another baby dedication. Huh? Han sucedido tantas cosas. Yo creo Amen. que en cuanto la hermana regrese, That's vamos a dedicar al baby. Pray that our pastor gets back. Es por eso que no oramos ahorita hasta que regrese nuestra pastora. See, what everyone needs to understand is, is lo que todos necesitan entender es que our pastor has a special mantle that God has given her. Nuestra pastora tiene un manto muy especial que Dios le ha dado a ella. For this church. Para esta iglesia. No one else has that mantle. Y no, nadie más tiene ese manto. No evangelist. No hay ningún evangelista. Doesn't matter. It could be Brother Renulfo, myself, or, or Brother Elias. No importa. Podría ser hermano Renulfo, yo mismo, el hermano Elias. Even if we're assistant minister and we preach. Aunque estuviéramos asistiendo, eh, pastores predicando y asistir. We do not have the mantle for this church. Nosotros no tenemos el manto para esta iglesia. Our pastor does. Nuestra pastora lo tiene. And that's why we need to pray for. Y es por eso que debemos orar. And continue to pray. Y conseguir orando. And remember that we're in a battle. Y recordar que estamos en una batalla. And even, and even real warfare. Y en una real batalla. The number one target. El número, el, 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 el punto número uno. Of the opposing force. De la fuerza. Is the leadership. Es el, uh, el liderazgo. And I mean, uh, being a Marine. Siendo un marino, I always try to find out yo siempre trato de encontrar who is the leader quién es el líder of the enemy del enemigo so we can target him para poder encauzar la batalla hacia él because we know if we destroy or capture porque si sabemos que si destruimos a nuestros a los que nos cautivan the leader al líder then all of his forces entonces uh, todas estas fuerzas will collapse van a colapsarse we need to pray for our pastor that God brings her back quickly. Así que debemos orar por nuestra pastora que él la traiga rápidamente una vez más. Any announcements before we leave? Algunos anuncios antes de, de salir? No? Okay, let's stand. Vamos a ponernos de pie. Praise be to God. Gloria a Dios. And if I could have, if I could have, uh, si puedo tener al hermano, uh, one of the elders, a uno de los ancianos, uh, one go lay hands on, uh, alguien que vaya, sister, a uno de los, que vaya y ponga, ponga mano sobre la hermana Lillian, sister Lillian, and also sobre la hermana uh, Terán, ahí está la hermana Gladys. Okay, one of the ladies and one of the elders, una de las hermanas, por favor que vaya y lay hands on them while we pray. Por ella y pongan eh, manos sobre ellas también. Puede ser más de una si gustan. Vamos a orar por ellas. Okay. So the hermana Gladys y la hermana Lilian. And that's just being obedient to the word. It says that if there are any sick among us, call the elders of the church. Simplemente ser obedientes al Señor, dice la palabra que debemos and llamar a los ancianos de la iglesia y que oremos por ellos. And it's, it's not that we have any power. No es que tengamos nosotros algún poder especial. But it's obedience to the word of God. Pero es obediencia a la palabra de Dios. And that's what matters. Y eso es lo que importa. We're to be doers of the word. Queremos ser hacedores de la palabra. Not hearers only. Y no solamente oidores. And so God, He looks at our obedience. Así que Dios ve nuestra obediencia. And He blesses us. Y él la bendice. When we're obedient. En obediencia. Praise be to God. Lord, we just want to thank you for these sisters here, and we ask right now, God that you would touch their bodies, God. Lord, you know the need right now, God. We pray, God, that you would heal them according to your word, the word that says that by Jesus' stripes we were healed, God. Lord, right now, put healing virtue into their bodies. Strengthen them, God. Meet the need in Jesus' name. And those who are not with us today that are sick, that are ill, God, be with Brother Leon and others in the church, God, that have infirmities, God, because you said that Jesus bore our sicknesses and our infirmities, so oh, hallelujah. We ask in your name that you would heal God and move and give strength, oh, and restoration in the name of Jesus, God. And Lord, we thank you for all that you've done today in our midst, God. We love you and we praise you, God. We thank you for your word and spirit, God. Thank you, Lord, for the house of God and the privilege of being here. 
We ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would cover each and every one of us, God, Lord, with your blood, with your mercy blood, God, that, Lord, God, you would keep us through this coming week, God, and you'd bring us back at the appointed time for Bible studies, God, oh, for prayer meeting, for service, God. Keep your people, God, Lord Jesus, we ask in the precious name of Jesus, Lord. We love you and we praise you for all things in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. To the benediction, praise be to God. Hallelujah. Jehová te bendiga y te guarde. Jehová haga resplandecer su rostro sobre ti y tenga de ti misericordia. Jehová levante sobre ti su rostro y ponga en ti paz. Amén. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. You're dismissed. Praise be to God.